So here you are solving the equation. In number one, you have D minus eight is equal to 19. In order to eliminate negative eight, we take the inverse operation. The inverse of negative 8 is positive 8. So we add 8 on each side of the equation. So we bring down our D and then 19 is equal to 19 plus 8 is equal to 27. So in your canvas, what should go in the in your box for the answers should just be the final answer. No variable, no equal sign. Okay, next for the second example, you have x plus 27 equals 49. The inverse of positive 27 is negative 27. So we subtract 27 from each side. So that will cancel 27 minus 27. And then we have x is equal to 49 minus 27 is equal to 22. Okay, that should be the final answer. Okay, in number three, this is understood to be negative one or minus one times negative 15. So negative one times negative 15, since they have the same sign in multiplication, the answer should be addition. So this will now become m plus 15 is equal to 13. Now we eliminate negative positive 15 by subtraction because the inverse of plus 15 is minus 15. So this will give us m equals 30 minus 15 or equal to 15. Number four, this is understood to be minus one times positive 28. So this becomes W negative times positive is negative 28. We do not change negative 15. So we eliminate negative 28 by addition, the inverse of minus 28. So we bring down W, negative 15 plus 28 is equal to positive 13. They have different signs, so you get the difference of 15 and 28. Use the sign of the larger number between 28 and 15. Okay, number five. So this is negative four times x. The inverse of multiplication is division. So to eliminate the coefficient, which is negative four, we divide both sides by negative four. So that will cancel negative four divided by negative four. And, and we have x 48 divided by negative four is negative 12. The understood sign of 48 is positive divided by negative. The answer, since they have different signs, should be negative. 
Okay, number six. This is n divided by eight. The inverse of division is multiplication. So that becomes negative eight times eight is equal to three times eight. The, so we are using multiplication because the understood operation that involves your eight is division. The opposite of division is multiplication. So we can sell eight and eight, and that gives us n is equal to three times eight or 24. In number six, this is a fraction which is an indicated division and the upper and the inverse of division is multiplication so we multiply both sides by negative 8 giving us x equals negative 8 times negative 8 is equal to negative 4 times negative 8. So we cancel negative 8, therefore our x is negative 4 times negative 8, or that is positive 32. Negative times negative should be positive. Because in multiplication, they say for, if two numbers have the same size, signs, the answer should be positive. In number eight, we can eliminate the constant first, that is by subtraction, because the inverse of addition is subtraction. Whatever you do in one side, the same should be done in the other side. And then you bring down m over four. So negative three minus six is negative nine. Next, to eliminate the denominator, we need to multiply both sides of the equation by the denominator. So this becomes m over four times four is equal to negative nine times four. So just like what I said, we use multiplication. So this will cancel four and four because four divided by four is equal to one. Negative nine times four is negative 36. When you are typing in your answer in your canvas quiz, there shouldn't be any space in between the characters. Next, we eliminate negative 12 by the inverse, which is plus 12. So we bring down negative 6x. 24 plus 12 is equal to 36. So that is negative 6 times x. The inverse is division. So we divide both sides by negative 6. Therefore, your x should be equal to 36 divided by 6 or in negative 6. Okay, number 9. We eliminate 9 by subtraction. 
this is understood to be addition, the inverse is minus. So we have negative n is equal to 47 minus 9 is equal to 38. A negative in front of your n means negative 1 times n. So we eliminate negative 1 by division. So that will now give us n is equal to negative 38 because 38 divided by negative 1 is negative 38. Okay, number 11. So we need to simplify the left side by combining similar terms. This is negative 3D plus 12D is 9D. And then we still have negative 5 and then equals 58. We eliminate negative 5. Okay, so here, let me just write the method that we used or the steps simplify by combining similar terms and then we eliminate five or negative five by addition for the final uh, i mean for the next step this becomes 98 is equal to i mean 9d is equal to 63. Okay, we only want D. So we eliminate D, or I mean nine by division. Therefore, D is equal to 63 divided by nine or seven. Okay, in number 12, there are different methods that we can use. One method is to divide all, all terms or divide everything by two. So we are using division, divide everything by two. So that will give us 5H plus three plus four is equal to 32. Then we combine similar terms. Three plus four is seven. So we have five H plus seven is equal to 32. And then we eliminate seven by subtraction. So that will give us 5H is equal to 32 minus 7 or 25. And then finally, we divide both sides of the equation by 5. Therefore, the value of H is equal to 5. Okay, another method. We can also distribute 2 to the given terms inside the parentheses. So this can also be done as 2 times bubble H plus 3 plus 8 equals 64. So by distribution, this is 2 times 5, H is 10H, 
2 times 3 is 6. We still have 8, 8, and then equals 64. And then we combine similar terms. 6 plus 8 is equal to 14. So you have 10H plus 14 is equal to 64. We eliminate 14 by subtraction. So that will give us 10H is equal to 15. And finally, we eliminate 10 by division. And you will notice that the answer that we obtained is also equal to 5. Okay, another method, if we subtract both sides if we subtract 8 to each side of the equation, so we have 2 times 5H plus 3 plus 8 equals 64. So just like what I said, we can start by subtraction of 8 from each side. So that will give us 2 times 5H plus 3 is equal to 56. So you can either divide or distribute. So if we divide both sides by 2, so this is division. That will give us 5H plus 3 is equal to 28. And then we can do subtraction again to eliminate 3. So minus 3 on each side. And that will give us 5H is equal to 25. Again, your H should be equal to 5. Okay, next, we go to number 13. So one method here is distribution. So 15 times 3 is 45. 15 times negative A is negative 15A. We do not change our 8A and 73. Then we combine similar terms. Negative 15a plus 8a is negative 7a. Okay, we do not change 45 and 73. Okay, we eliminate 45 by division I and mean in subtraction because that is understood to be plus 45. So minus 45, the same should be done in the other side of the equation. Okay, so this will now give us negative 7A, 73 minus 45 is equal to 28. 
then we eliminate negative 7 by division. Therefore, A is equal to negative 4. Okay, next we go to number 14. So this is writing the equation or choose the correct model for the situation. That is one half or half. Victoria spent half her money. That is one half of M or one half times M on a necklace. She then earned, that means plus 18 by babysitting and she ended up with $52. So one half M is the same as M divided by two. So the equation therefore is M divided by two plus 18 is equal to 52. And that is in the second equation. Okay, we go to number 15. So choose the correct step for solving the equation. The given equation is x over negative 4 plus 6 is equal to 15. So we eliminate 15 by subtraction because the inverse of addition is subtraction. So minus six, minus six. The first step therefore is subtract six from both sides. So that will give us x over negative 4, 15 minus 6 is equal to 9. Next, in order for us to eliminate negative 4, since that is a fraction, an indicated division, we use multiplication. So we multiply both sides by negative 4. So we multiply both sides by negative 4. That should be the second step. Okay, so this will now give us x is equal to 9 times negative 4 is negative 36. The third step, therefore, is x equals negative 36, and that is given. Okay, number 16. So you need to identify again the equation or the model. It says here that the local TV provider charges $89 per month. So that should be 89M for the variable. And so that should be plus as a 48 one-time activation fee. So this is the total cost. So the model should be 89M plus 48 is equal to C. Okay, next. So you are solving for the value of C in the second question. So you have your 89, your M is 8, plus 48, that should be your C. So you can just use your calculator. 
So you have 89 times 8 plus 48 is 716. Therefore, since our C is equal to 760, that should be the eight months cost. Okay, next. You have spent 1,116 on cable TV. So we go back to the original equation. 89M plus 48. You spent 1,116. So we are solving for the number of M. I mean for the value of your M. So we eliminate 48 by subtraction because the inverse of plus 48 is minus 48. So we bring down 89 M. So 1,116 minus 48 is 1,068. So we eliminate 89 by division. So that should be 89. So 1,068 divided by 89 is 12 months. Therefore, your M should be equal to 12. Okay, next, for number 17. So you are shopping for t-shirts on your favorite site. You choose three shirts, and the site tells you they will cost seventeen fifteen each. So three times seventeen fifty, and the shipping cost is twelve dollars. So the cost, therefore, should be three times seventeen point five plus the shipping of 12 is 64.15. Of course, that is in terms of dollars. Now, the website suggests that you can save money by buying for a shirt because the cost per shirt will reduce to $15 each. So that should be four times 15 and the shipping will be free. So this is 16. So how much money will you save by buying four shirts? So that should be 64.15. Minus 60 is equal to $4 and 50 cents. Okay, number 19. I mean 18. So write the correct equation for the sentence below, then solve for your n. It says your sum. So that is plus. Twice a number, so you do not know the number, so we have twice n. And 37 is, and 39, sorry, 9, I should say. And 9 is 37. So the model should be 2n plus 9 is 37. 
So what should be your n? From 2n plus 9 equals 37. We eliminate 9 by subtraction. So that will give us 2n is equal to 37 minus 9 is equal to 28. Then we divide both sides by 2 to eliminate the coefficient of n. Therefore, n should be equal to 28 divided by 2 is 14. Okay, we go to number 19. Again, you need to write the correct equation and solve for the value of n. It says here three times the difference of a number and seven is 29. So that should be the model or the equation. And then, in solving, we need to distribute 3. So 3 times n is 3n. 3 times 7 is negative 21. We eliminate 21 by the inverse operation, which is plus 21. Therefore, 3n is equal to 15. We eliminate, so what did we do here? This is distribution. And then we used addition. And then this time we used division to separate the coefficient. Therefore, n should be equal to 50 divided by 3. Okay, for the last question, and then you can start your quiz. So, four students all took a different approach to solving the equation below. Three students did something correct. One student made a mathematical error. So choose the student who made a mistake. So according to David, you can subtract 8 from each side because the inverse of 8 is positive. So this is correct, but that is not our answer, okay? Because what we want is the one who made a mistake. Okay, next. According to Jimmy, you can divide everything by two. Because at least the numbers will remain to be whole numbers. Therefore, Jimmy is also correct. Next, Sonia's answering. According to Sonia, we can distribute two, just like what we have been doing. Therefore, Sonia is also correct. So Kim is the only one saying that you have to add to both sides, add nine to both sides. But nine is inside the parentheses. Therefore, you need to remove the sign of grouping before you can move nine. Therefore, the correct answer is the last statement. Because Kim made an error. Okay, do you have any questions? 